the monkey and the crocodile long time ago there was a monkey who lived in a rose apple tree by the river side he lived alone but was very happy one day a crocodile came out of the river he swam up to the tree and told the monkey that he had traveled a long distance and was in search of food as he was very hungry the kind monkey offered him a few rose apples the crocodile thanked him and asked him if he could visit the monkey again you are always welcome said the monkey after that the crocodile started visiting the monkey every day they would share rose apples and talk about everything they knew the crocodile told the monkey that he had a wife and that they lived on the other side of the river so the generous monkey plucked many rose apples and gave them to the crocodile for his wife the crocodile's wife loved rose apples but she grew jealous of her husband spending so much time away from her in the company of his new friend she pretended as if she did not believe that her husband a crocodile could be friends with a monkey the crocodile convinced her of his friendship with the monkey the crocodile's wife thought to herself if the monkey eats only these sweet rose apples his flesh must be sweet too he would be a delicious dinner so she asked her husband to invite his friend home so that she could meet him but the crocodile was not happy about inviting his friend home so the wife thought of a plan she pretended to be very ill and told the crocodile that the doctor had said that she could get well only if she ate a monkey's heart if her husband wanted to save her life he must bring her his friend's heart the crocodile was stupid enough to believe his wife but the thought of killing his friend made him very unhappy he did not want to harm his friend at the same time he did not want his wife to die So the crocodile went to the rose apple tree and invited the monkey home to meet his wife. The monkey was very happy and readily agreed. The crocodile told the monkey that he could ride across the river to the other bank on his back. On reaching the middle of the river, the crocodile began to sing. The frightened monkey asked him why he was doing so. I want to kill you said the crocodile my wife is ill and she can recover only if she eats a monkey's heart the monkey was shocked and started thinking fast he told the crocodile that he would gladly give up his heart to save the life of the crocodile's wife but he had left his heart behind in his tree He requested the crocodile to turn back quite quickly so he could fetch his heart. The stupid crocodile became happy when he heard that the monkey was kind enough to offer his heart without any resistance. The thought of not killing his friend while proving his love towards his wife made him happy. The crocodile turned back and swam as fast as he could to the tree. When they reached, the monkey climbed up the tree to safety. He looked down at the crocodile and said, "Now you can go back to your wicked wife and tell her that her husband is the biggest fool in this world. Your foolishness has no parallel." You were ready to take my life because of an unjust demand from your wife. 
then you were stupid enough to believe me and brought me back to the tree so what is the moral of the story the moral of the a wise enemy is better than a foolish friend so children hope you all have liked this video have liked this story and if you like this please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel